Um, I would say if you don't do anything, and I'm not saying that's what we're doing, I think there's many uh, valuable sort of uh, things that we're trying to institute in the, in the province, and I, I think on top of that is upgrading our wastewater treatment plants, looking at agriculture uh, to improve the sustainability of agricultural practices, and that's all happening, and I think that those are all positive steps. Even small steps like taking phosphorus out of uh, a detergents on our shelves or, or not allowing people to uh, fertilize their lawns when they live close to a lake or, or making sure that uh, you, you know septic tanks are managed properly lagoons. I think all those things are very important to uh, solve maybe the most pressing and most public issue which are algal blooms in our lakes. If you were not to do those things uh, we would really hurt not just our uh, quality of life, which has to do with recreational activities on the lakes and you know making sure our kids play in safe and, and clean environments, but also our economy, because Lake Winnipeg alone uh, contributes a large uh, chunk to the economy from fishing to uh, tourism to hunting and trapping and, and obviously cottage life. So I think it's critical that we look at these as as not just an environmental issue but uh, a general quality of life and economic issue. We could do more. I think, uh, you know, I think the wastewater treatment upgrades, um, they are needed and we need to make sure that phosphorus is removed from, from our city and, and municipal wastewater as soon as possible. And we need to make sure that, uh, that manure particularly is dealt with and handled and applied uh, at sustainable rates to our lands and that that be monitored closely and enforced. I think we have made significant strides in that area. I think uh, sometimes agriculture gets, uh, gets much of the criticism because people point to livestock production as a, as a culprit. I think that's not necessarily fair in every circumstance, but there are culprits. There are uh, certain areas of the province that apply more phosphorus on land than, than can be uptaken by the crop that year. And that results in some runoff, probably, and, and uh, some environmental degradation. So we need to deal with those kind of issues, specific issues in specific pockets of the province. But I would suggest that Manitoba is, uh, overall, in North America, is, is fairly uh, forward-looking and uh, progressive in its thinking. Uh, values water more than many other provinces do, although we have an abundant supply of it, sometimes too much, you know, with flooding and so forth. But uh, and, and people hold the government to account when it comes to water because we are a cottaging uh, type people and we like our uh, natural resources to be kept pristine as much as possible. So, so overall I, I would suggest that uh, obviously there could always be more research and more funding put into, into place to do some of these activities in a larger scale uh, manner. We could do more analysis on what's happening out there right now and have a better understanding of these things. But uh, you know, that's wishful thinking. I think there's limited resources, everybody understands that. And under those circumstances, I'd say we do, uh, we do as well as we can.